And a warm welcome. Our venue for this game is the Emirates Stadium in North London. My name is Derek Ray, positioned here on the commentary gantry, and sitting next to me, ready to give you all the analysis, is Stuart Robson. And we have action from the quarter-final stage of the FA Cup just moments away. It's Arsenal, and they take on Coventry City. Thanks, Derek. Well, the hosts are clear favourites going into this tie. But with that comes pressure, particularly against a team that will remain compact. And in with a real chance. Oh, marvellous goalkeeping. Well, it's a top-class save from a top-class goalkeeper. That's absolutely brilliant. Playing it in. It might still be problematic. Tomiyasu. Fine cross into the middle. Well, he failed to get it away properly. Threat over for now, it seems. Arsenal's free kick here. Trossard. Are they going to forge ahead? A truly magnificent start. An early goal in the game. Just what they were hoping to produce. Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. And then what a great finish as well. Good connection with the ball, leaving the keeper with little chance. It's a great goal. Well, back underway, and 1-0 it is. Let's see what happens next. Grimm. That is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances. Smith Rowe. Tomiyasu. Neto. Well, showing good patience. Kieran Tierney. On to Jorginho. Excellent defending. Has a go. Superb block. Jake Bidwell. Walker. Well, they continue their push for the equaliser, but definitely not forcing it. Tremendously strong in the tackle. Oh, breezing past him. It must go in, surely. And he finds the net. He could hardly miss. Well, let's take another look. Yeah, he won't get an easier finish than that. The defending was all over the place, though. So the ball rolling again at 2-0. Well, shielding the ball admirably. But just like that, possession changes hands. Now, let's see what they can do here. Perfectly positioned to take it away. Charles Andreas Brim. A chance to eat into their lead. In it goes to alter the arithmetic and give them hope that they can turn this round. Well, let's look at this again. To pick out this pass shows wonderful vision. It's inch perfect. But when he shoots, I expected him to go across the goalkeeper. He should never beat the goalkeeper inside that near post. That's not good keeping. Well, 2-1 it is here. Smith Rowe. 
Pedro Neto. Moises Caicedo. Smith Rowe. And he takes it away. That is how to apply the pressure. There will be one minute added on at the end. So half time. And so the. Second half underway, and Arsenal looking to build upon a largely positive first half performance. Ben Sheaf. Intelligent threaded pass here. Credit to them for winning back possession. Well, this is one you won't want to miss here on EA TV Live. The second and decisive leg of the Champions League round of 16 tie. It's Arsenal against Villarreal. Oh, really hit with venom and off the woodwork. Well, that's a great shot. He just hit it with such power. I'm not sure the keeper would have got that, you know. Well, they've decided to make a change. Balogun into the advanced position. And the pass could do damage. Oh, keeper dealt with it. Well, we're into the final half hour. Losing possession a bit easily. Balogun. Now with Jorginho. Might really be able to trouble them here. But they took care of the situation defensively. Now can they counter clinically? Well, that break looked so promising, but nothing coming from it. Trossard. Smith Rowe. Twenty minutes to go in this one. Still behind, but the pressure mounting. Well, he made that interception look routine. In truth, it wasn't. Kieran Tierney. Now in possession, Tosar. Smith Rowe. Well, as you can see, his movement is really good, which then makes the finish look easy. That's a decent goal, that's for sure. Well, there it is, 3-1, the current scoreline here. Hamer. Chief. Rose. Fancati Dabo. Could pull one back here. What a shocking pass, really. Sheaf. Pedro Neto. 
Lots of space for Arsenal. Can he put it in? And doing all he can to grab his second of the game. Well, he's been a real live wire today. A constant threat to this back line. Well, they are committed to making the substitution here. Well, the keeper is happy. The bar was there. The final whistle then, and Arsenal go marching on. Well, as the scoreline would suggest, it was a comfortable win. But they had to play really well to get their victory. In particular, I thought their midfield really imposed themselves on the game. And now they get the ball rolling. All eyes on one man. Three goals in his last three games. A passionate night in store, no doubt, here at the Estadio de la Ceramica in Spain. I'm Derek Ray on the commentary gantry and delighted to be joined, as always, by Stuart Robson. And it's the Champions League round of 16 second leg. It's Villarreal versus Arsenal. Well, Derek. Can he finish? High echelon goalkeeping there. Playing it in. Here are the starters for Arsenal. Thomas Partey starts alongside Declan Rice in central midfield. And leading the line today is Gabriel Jesus. Gabriel Martinelli. And Arsenal now find themselves in potentially a dangerous position. Oh, what an opportunity. And a goal! And I'll tell you what, that gives them a bit of a cushion now. Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. And his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. On aggregate, it's three goals to one. Cup Mainers. Committed challenge. Gabriel Jesus. Will he find the net? And a goal! That's his brace. They just can't keep him quiet. Well, let's see this again. The vision to play this through ball is superb, and he makes no mistake with the finish. He showed a lot of composure there. situation 4-1 is the score Brecalo and space for them here on the flank turning inside where's he going to go but a good piece of defending to bring it to an end Lucas Mecha Brozovic. Well, you've got to savour such moments. Now defending always has to be a team effort. Good piece of covering. This might be ideal for the counter. And a chance. Odegaard. Another goal. And surely there's no way they can throw this away. 
play. Absolutely dominant. Well, here's the replay, and it's a simple finish in the end. But where was the defending? That's just not good enough. So 5-1, the aggregate advantage. Yuri and Timber. Mecha. Brekalo. Oh, it comes to nothing in the end. Really should have made more of that. Alexandra Zinchenko. Now with Jesus. Is this the moment? Another goal! The lead grows to four now. A rampant display. So the aggregate score now, 6-1 here. Very quick thinking there. Gabriel Martinelli. Now with Jesus. And that's the hat-trick! Tearing apart this defence time and again. They simply can't handle him. My goodness, it's so one-sided. 5-0 in this match. Brekalo. Nketia has it. Rafa. And that was a very fine read. Declan Rice. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Firing it in, and no way through. Oh, good work by the keeper. And there's the delivery. It might still be problematic. Well, they can keep possession now. The referee has decided there will be just one minute of added time. Cup Mainers. And so it is, the first... League round of 16, second leg. The second half is underway. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Cup Mainers. And Ketia has it. Now can they counter clinically? Rafa. Not to be this time. Trossard. I'm delighted to say more Premier League action coming up for you here on EA TV. It's Arsenal facing Wolverhampton Wanderers. Emile Smith Rowe. And threading it forward. Keeper did his job to begin with. And the keeper hangs on at the second attempt. Well, he's done really well, hasn't he? Great stop and then the reaction. Lucas Mecha. Brekalo. Just the challenge that was required.
bodies forward and the break looks on can they keep it going and the counter attack came to nothing Trossard on to Jorginho moving forward effectively oh good save so a personnel change then can he deliver it with accuracy it hasn't come to very much Caicedo and a decent delivery on a time for composure on the ball Counter-attacking, very much an option. Oh, he's through here. Well, he... Terrific piece of anticipation. Trossard. Emile Smith-Rowe. Opportunity it is. Well, just look at the defending here. They've made it so easy for him in the end. That's just not good enough. Substitution time as is here. Oh, that's some out and out pasting. 6 0. Mecha and Ketia and just making the run a bit too early offside as a result and just five minutes remaining Saka and return to Jorginho opportunity well he hit it with authority close the electronic board showing one additional minute and the referee says that will do it it's the end of this second leg and Arsenal and Arsenal now find themselves in potential
the pre-match focus on Gabriel Jesus. Following a hat-trick, does he have another big performance in him this time? Stay with us on EA TV. Hello and welcome. This is the scene here at Molyneux. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position, and I'm joined for expert analysis by my partner, Stuart Robson. And looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It's Wolverhampton Wanderers versus Arsenal. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. Gabriel Jesus. Can he finish? A truly magnificent start. An early goal in the game. Just what they were hoping to produce. Well, it's lovely technique, as you can see. He just wraps his foot around the ball and bends it beyond the keeper. That's a good goal. So the ball moving again. Will there be a quick reply from Wolves? There needs to be. And there to intervene. Saka Rice with it in a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here he has time to play it over oh it might be Borja Iglesias here's Almiron Corner awarded. Yep. Elects to go short. And still looking for space. Well, the keeper had plenty to think about with bodies around him. And goal news to bring you from the London Stadium. That means without further ado, it's over to Alex. It's a goal for West Ham. It's now 1-0 with 17 minutes on the clock. Thanks as always to Alex Scott. Has a go. Oh, and nearly on target. Not quite, though. Yeah, very nearly, but the goalkeeper had it covered. It wasn't really a great effort. Borja Iglesias going well could cross it in here oh, good defending to stop a decent looking attack could be a chance to break here Partey on to Jesus. Oh, a lovely ball. And putting his body on the line. And a penalty awarded. Spot kick coming up. Can they extend their lead? And a goal! He was composure personified, and he's done his job from the spot. So underway again, and a 2-0 advantage here. Openda. Very quick thinking there. Being egged on by the crowd. And under pressure, that was a fine claim. Well, as you can see, Arsenal have had most of the ball. And that's been because of their ability to win the ball back so quickly. Their pressing has been excellent, and they just haven't stopped working. It's been a fantastic performance up to now. Indeed, perhaps they can cash in again. Let's see. Teammates in the middle. 
Well, they survived the attack. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? Oh, super piece of play. And so we're at the halfway stage. And the match is underway. So the ball moving. The pendulum has already swung Arsenal's way in this game. Will we see more of the same in the second half? Well, not cleared away completely. And the cross not quite imaginative enough. Can he find the net? Great chance to make it a brace, but the keeper had his say. Well, he has to get a second goal soon. He's been brilliant today. So the corner played into the box. Well, they couldn't take advantage of the chance. Terrific block. Marcinelli. And taken cleanly by the goalkeeper. Well, this is the home of live football, EA TV. And we have more action coming up from the Premier League for you. It's Wolves taking on Chelsea. That should be a tasty encounter. Plenty of quality in those two sides. Certainly now, hold on, Stuart. They're in here. Well, the challenge was clean, but the danger not cleared. Ceballos. And good use of advantage. The referee allowing play to continue. It's a perfect challenge. And goal news to bring you from the London Stadium. That means, without further ado, it's over to Alex. It's a goal for Chelsea. They're back level. It's one all with 60 minutes played. Cheers, Alex. Openda. Tremendous ball played through. And he might be in here. And the ball is loose. The high press was very much on. And that's a very good parry. Twenty minutes remaining. Can they hit on the break? Well, an example of a counter-attack that went nowhere. And a chance for him on the flank. And in the end, he's run out of space. And a retrospective yellow. The card is the referee's verdict. Well, no doubt about it. That earlier challenge was a definite booking. And into the last 15 minutes of action. Moises Caicedo. And the referee spotted the foul, but has played advantage. Just the challenge that was required. Ceballos. Well, the fans really want him to shoot. Well, when the fans want you to shoot, it's always tempting to do so, but maybe he'll think twice next time. Well, I think he was right to take it on, but he never looked in control of the shot. He just didn't set himself properly. Read it well. Chance to play it in. The high press was on, and that's a fantastic tackle. Can he get one back? Terrific save. 
Well, they are committed to making the substitution here. And behind it's gone for a corner. Well, the keeper wanted to take it cleanly and did. Now can they counter clinically? And news of a goal in the West Ham match. And Alex Scott has the details. Another for West Ham United. They've pulled one back with 86 minutes on the clock. Alex with the info as ever. Martin Odegaard. Well, taking into account all the stoppages, two minutes to be added on. Icoma Luis Openda. He's in control of the situation. So now a corner. Played over. It could have been awkward for the goalkeeper. So there goes the final whistle. It ends in a victory for Arsenal.